Hello and welcome to It's Storytime Kids! Now this is the third time I've recorded Elmer in the Snow by David McKee. I recorded it a second time because I wanted to make it a bit better. My little one watched the recording and told me that I'd said the wrong word and not corrected myself. So here we go again kids, third time lucky. Elmer in the Snow by David McKee. There's a big old snowstorm. I should know this book off by heart at this point, shouldn't I, kids? <laughs> Elmer in the Snow by David McKee. One morning, Elmer the Patchwork Elephant met a group of elephants who didn't look very happy. What's the matter? asked Elmer. What's the matter is that it's cold, said one of the elephants. That's what's the matter. It's not really cold, said Elmer. It's just a bit colder than usual. What you need is a good walk to warm you up. Come on, come with me. Elmer led the elephants in a direction they didn't normally go. The way went steeply upwards and the elephants were soon puffing with the effort. I'm very warm now. Thank you, Elmer, said one of the elephants. Shall we go back now? Not yet, said Elmer. Keep going. After they had gone further, an elephant said, Elma, look at the trees. They're different here. That's because we're so high up, said Elma. Come on, there's something I want to show you. Those trees do look different. They look like proper trees, like human trees. Whereas in Elma land, the trees are all really exciting, aren't they? I just realised I'm probably a bit close. There we go. A little later, the elephants came out into the open and they stared at the sight. Everywhere was white. Snow, they shouted. Although they had heard about snow, this was the first time they had actually seen any. As the elephants, sorry, I've got to get every word right. The elephants rushed forward and roared with laughter as they played in the snow. It's really cold, called one of the elephants. Cold but fun, laughed another. Look, they're having so much fun in the snow. <laughs> now come and look at this, called Elmer. He was sliding on the ice of a pond that had frozen solid. One by one, the others curiously joined him. And as I said in my last attempt at reading this book, that must be a really frozen solid pond to take the weight of all these elephants. Goodness, it must be very, very cold. Soon the elephants were slipping and sliding and crashing and falling and really enjoying themselves. They didn't notice Alma quietly sneak away. <laughs> the elephants forgot all about Alma until they heard his voice nearby. Help! Help! I've frozen solid! The elephant stopped playing and hurried to find Elma. To their dismay, there stood a white elephant. He has his frozen solid, gasped one of the elephants. Then he touched the white elephant and a piece fell off. It's made of snow, he said. I know where Elmer is, chuckled another. He pointed to a line of footprints in the snow. Come on. 
There's the line of footprints heading in that direction. And how cool is that? A snow elephant. Wouldn't you love to build a snow elephant? The elephants followed the line of footprints, but before they reached him, Elmer appeared and with a laugh started throwing snowballs that he had already prepared. And goodness kids, that's a huge pile of snowballs. <laughs> he was ready for them. Imagine having a trunk to throw snowballs with, that would be awesome. <laughs> He did a direct hit on that elephant's head. It wasn't long before all the elephants were throwing snowballs at each other. Yay! Snowball fight! <laughs> it's starting to snow quite hard, said Elmer. That's what I did wrong last time, kids. I read it. It's starting to snow quite heavy, but it doesn't say that. It says hard. My little one picked me up on it. <laughs> it's starting to snow quite hard, said Elmer after a while. It's time for us to go. Still laughing and playing and with the snow falling all around them, the elephants hurried back to the trees and then on home. See, even when you're a fully grown grown-up kid, sometimes it's hard to read. And sometimes you make mistakes and that's all right. Look at this beautiful sky. Purpley, with the beautiful green trees and those birds fluttering around. Oh, makes you want it to be Christmas. When they were finally home again, one of the elephants said, Snow is fun, but it really is cold. Yes, said another, it's nice to be back in the warm. Elmer said nothing. He just smiled. Because Elmer is so wise, kids. It's the same temperature now as it was then. When they were complaining about being cold, it's the same temperature now. The only difference is, in between, they've been properly cold and snowed on. So now they think it's lovely and warm. It's all about perspective. There we go, Elmer in the Snow by David McKee. I really hope you enjoyed it and goodness, I hope I didn't make any mistakes this time. Elmer in the Snow. Thanks kids, you take care now. Bye!